All right, so starting off, we're going to be looking at some foreign coins here. This coin is from Canada. It is the 1921 50 cent piece. So it is a half dollar coin. It is silver. Now you know there are some silver half dollars that just aren't really worth that much money, right? You know, 40, 50 bucks here and there, 100 bucks. This coin sold for over $240,000. Now, why would this coin sell for that much money? Well, one, it's in very good condition. It's graded by PCGS, the coin grading company, at a mint state 66. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. 70 is the best grade or condition you can get. And this coin is uh, very rare because only 75 of these really are known to have survived from a meltdown. So what does that mean? Well, during this time period, Canada, you know, melted down, you know, over 400,000 of these coins from 1921, and uh, they were gonna use that to uh, produce coins later on. So that's why this coin is super rare, because there's not many that exist. Uh, you know, one of 75 potentially, this coin ended up selling, like I said, for over $240,000 at auction. What would you do with 240,000? Let me know in the comments below. Now this next coin is a Great Britain uh, one penny coin from 1933. Now it is graded and authenticated by NGC at a Mint State 63 Brown. The grade on this really doesn't matter. I mean, it's gonna sell for a lot of money no matter the condition because there's only about four to eight of these known to exist. Uh, so this was not made for circulation or anything. That's why it's super rare because there's not uh, there's only a few that exist, right? Uh, this coin sold for over one hundred and ninety three thousand dollars because of how rare it is. Now here is something that's pretty cool. So this is a nineteen thirty four proof set that are Australian coins. So we got five different coins here. This first coin here is one half penny uh, from nineteen thirty four. You see Commonwealth of Australia there on the reverse. This next coin here is the one penny coin from 1934. Again, very similar coin, similar design uh, as the half penny. And then we also have the 1934 proof three pence coin uh, from Australia, of course. All these coins together from 1934. And we also have the six pence 1934 Australian coin. And then in the set, in this proof set, we also have the one shilling coin from 1934. Now this is actually the highest graded proof set from 1934. Uh, we also have the one florin, two shillings, 1934 coin from Australia as well in this set. Uh, so it is the highest graded uh, 1934 proof set from Australia. Uh, super, super rare uh, to have these coins in this condition. And these coins sold together, all five or six coins sold together for over $275,000. Oh my goodness, 275 grand, over a quarter of a million dollars. Now here is the 1936 10 cent coin from Canada. So a Canadian dime here from 1936 that sold for $184,000 at auction. It is graded by PCGS at a specimen 68. Oh man, this coin is crazy. So what makes this coin extremely valuable is it's the 1936 dot 10 cent coin. So as we zoom in there at the bottom of the coin, you can see that dot there. Like I say, $184,000. Speaking of dots, Speaking of dots, here is the famous Canadian one cent dot coin from 1936. Uh, this coin sold for over $400,000 at auction, graded by PCGS at a specimen 66 red. You'll see that dot there again underneath the date 1936. Super, super rare coin there. All right, guys, feel free to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.